Elite Facts presents Amazing Animal Hybrids 15. The Tigon is very rare and is one a male tiger and lioness mate. They can grow just as large, if not bigger than the parent species, but not as big as the previously mentioned ligers. Both ligers and tigons are capable of producing their own offspring, leading to confusingly named hybrids such as tidygons and lilagers. 14. Narwhals and belugas are funny looking animals on their own, so to combine them is to create a really funny looking animal. The narluga can be naturally created but is extremely rare. There are more sightings appearing which many believe to be a product of global warming and the two species coming into contact more often. 13. Another lion mix is this male leopard and lioness coming together and creating the leopon. This wouldn't occur in the wild as the two don't cross paths naturally. Leopons appear to have the head and mane of a lion and the body of a leopard. 12. A jag lion is an extremely cool and badass looking animal in all its glory and is very rare. The mating of a male lion and lioness is how they come about. There has never been any sighted in the wild and these are the only two known to exist. 11. The Wolfen is the product of the breeding of a male false killer whale and female bottlenose dolphin. It's a kind of a cheat hybrid as false killer whales are exactly that, false whales, and they're actually classed as dolphins, but they still look crazy cool. They're occasionally spotted in the wild and there is currently only one individual in captivity. 10. The Liger is a huge animal and is the offspring of male lions and female tigers. They don't exist in the wild despite the legends of them doing so and are deliberately bred in captivity only. There's a myth that ligers never stop growing their entire lives, which is untrue. They just grow to freakish sizes in their normal growth window. Ligers are the largest cat in the world. Hercules, the biggest individual liger, weighed 922 pounds. 9. A growler bear is nothing to be trifled with mixing a polar bear and brown bear to create this beast. In the wild, most grizzlies and polars don't cross paths, so they are very rare and most live in zoos. However, there have been a handful of confirmed sightings in the wild. In 2006, an Alaskan hunter shot one. They look pretty much like an even split between polar and grizzly bears. Behaviorally, they are closer to polar bears than to browns. Eight. The Zubro is a cross between a domestic cow and a bison and are much hardier than the domestic cow, plus they possess great strength. They were bred as a possible cattle replacement, but the experiment died and there is now only one herd left living in Poland. 7. The first domestic cat on the list is the Savannah Cat, which is a cross between a domestic cat and the wild Serval, a wild cat living in Africa. They're very big for domestic cats, the size of a dog in reality, and are also linked to their owners like a dog too. They have no fear of water like most cats do, and even play fetch. 6. The coyote and the wolf are actually very close, genetically speaking, as they only really split from each other as a species around 300,000 years ago. The breed is a mix between the eastern wolf and the common coyote, Mixes with gray wolves are very rare due to genetic mix matching from evolution. 5. If you ever wanted to rear an animal to produce some serious beef, then the beefalo is your go-to guy. They were first conceived in the 1800s. They're hardier than cattle and do less eco-damage to the grasslands they graze on too. The animal is a cross between the domestic cow and wild buffalo and the experiment of breeding has actually ravaged the natural gene pool of the wild buffalo with only five herds naturally existing without cow genes mixed into them. 4. This is a hinny and is known as a reverse mule. It's when a male donkey and a female horse mate. They would usually have a horse's head shape with the build and size of a donkey. 3. A goat and a sheep are pretty similar. Both graze all day. Both have fur and both live most of their lives on farms or country hills. Usually if a hybrid is conceived it doesn't make it to birth and would be a stillborn, 
so they're very rare. 2. The first ever comma was made in 1998 when a scientist in Dubai crossed a male camel and a female llama via artificial insemination. It was their fur that pushed the experiment forward, with clippable camel fur being the goal. There were only five in the entire world. 1. The first animal hybrid on the list is the zebroid. There's no specific two animals needed to create the zebroid. It's simply a cross between a zebra and any other equine. The general makeup of the zebroid is the stature and physiology of the equine animal with some markings of the zebra around their bodies. They're very wild and extremely hard to domesticate. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts. Thank you.